We've already heard about the crisis. That the future is in our hands. With new awareness of how we got here, we're learning to protect our blue planet. But there's more than meets the eye. We know plastics are a real danger to ocean health because they can be seen. Chemical pollutants are nearly invisible and equally, if not more, pervasive. Vital to modern life, we've yet to manage them well. The threat of ocean pollution is accelerating. Our fragile ecosystem can't cope with the confluence of chemicals and plastics. We have rising levels globally, and it's affecting even the most remote human populations, food webs. There are layers of reality we can't see. Chemical pollution and climate change are combining to create a more toxic marine environment. More dead zones are appearing. They're as bad as they sound. We haven't grasped the chemical impact on human health. Neurodevelopmental delays are now observed in one in every six children, and they've been associated with many different environmental chemicals. The economic cost of environmental and biota degradation. It's a vicious cycle we're tangled in. There is a chemical footprint to everything we produce globally. From mining, agriculture, fisheries, to what we wear, what we use, what we throw away. We need a common set of goals to tackle these challenges. We make sure of what chemicals we put into products that it's possible to recycle them and that they're not hazardous chemicals from the beginning because then they will never end. They will always be there. Humans have created over 350,000 artificial chemicals and mixtures. Thousands more each year driving modern life forward. With a compounding effect, these chemicals overlap and interact, often with deadly impact. To fix this, we need to understand the chemical economy. Shifting production from richer to poorer countries is costing everyone and hitting vulnerable communities the hardest. Many countries do not have the capacity infrastructure to manage all the emissions. Investments in petrochemicals as fossil fuel demand slides is just diverting the problem. Once we cross the tipping point, then it's too late. We really need urgent action by all stakeholders. There are pathways to resolving ocean chemical pollution. The chemicals industry won't change fast enough on its own. Chemical pollution is a missing piece. We have a focus on plastics, we have a focus on biodiversity, but all of this is linked. A healthy ocean is essential to all our lives. The private sector can move much faster than governments can move. And what we're finding is that safer chemicals are doing much better in the marketplace than the incumbents in the same product category. So there's a win-win here. More funding is needed to do thorough research, convincing governments to act with science-backed evidence, knowing the costs of inaction to inspire innovation, showing investors economic opportunities, making greener business models necessary. We will need policies that help move us away from problem chemicals. We also need innovation policies that drive the future of green chemistry and sustainable technologies. The time is now. Start with our revealing research. Together, we can get back to blue.